set up on a sunken ship on, a, on the side of the main river, Mississippi. And we've got barges all around us. And let me, sh let me show you what's going on. We've got a sunken barge right here. We've got many giant flatheads here. And then to right here, we've got barges all surrounding us, which sometimes that's not a great deal because they cut down the current a little bit. But I think we're going to get a good shot at landing some monsters. So let me, uh, let me pay attention to some rods. And look at that. We got our first one in here. Well, who do we got? We got Dave Garshar. We got Lance McCoo guy. We got Big Biggie on, Biggie on. We got 351 Cleveland. Let me get, let me get my glasses. Holy moly! <clears throat> hmm. Oh yeah. So, everybody knows old Catfish Heroes right there. Say hello, Catfish Heroes. What's up, everybody? Yep. Good to see you again. Good to see We're you. We're back again. at it. We are kind of back at it. Oh, man. You had to wipe the cobwebs off the boat. Yeah. So we spent a little time today scouting. And um, industrial stuff like this was doing pretty well. We actually got on a, a, another spot. Hey, what's up, Chucky Morgan? Pontoon Jody. What's up, uh, Jody? Yeah. And... Uh, uh, we, we, we fished a, a tiny industrial spot like this and we ended up landing a pretty good fish. We didn't have anything turned on, but we, I'm probably going to do some sort of TikTok or whatnot on it. Uh, it's one of those spots that nobody would even know that's there. We like threw a bait underneath in between two parked barges right next to the shore and ended up landing a good fish. So we decided to come over here and start up the live and see how everything's going. All right, so we got uh, Mr. Honeycut, Travis Bacon. What's up, buddy? Stick a donkey, and we're going to try to. It's Marillo's family fishing. And we got Super Smurf Eric fishing. What's up, buddy? Jason Lamb, what's going on, my friend? Hey, Marillo, right here's your hero, bro. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relinquish the camera to Sean real quick because he, he, he wants to talk to people. I'm sure he does. We got a few fish bump, bumping, but like right here, this this whole thing right here is the sunken barge that's been here for like 30 years. And we've got baits straight down in the crevice so that when fish come up out of the holes, because there's holes underneath here, and matter of fact, where it ends right there, there's there used to be a giant cavern underneath there because it used to be about four foot. Oh, and Marillo with the 999, he says, where's my hero? Okay. You got to get up there and talk to Mr. Really. <laughs> I he got, got a crush on him. Now. That's good. Whoa. All right, everybody. We're Anybody? out here doing it. We're out here doing it. No, I'm good. I got the phone. Oh, yeah, you got your phone. We are looking for that big takedown with a big flathead, everybody. Michael, appreciate you. Thank you very much. Jason Lamb, you guys on the Mississippi? Yes, sir. Chucky Morgan, Pontoon Jody, how you doing? So, so far, we've had a lot of baits get hit, and we've went to a lot of different places. They're hitting them like this, they're spitting them, uh, but yet, in the last 45 minutes, we've got a, a couple of good takedowns. Hey, there's Tom. How you doing, buddy? Susquehanna Stan. Weeknight, I'm telling. Susquehanna Stan, heck yeah. Yeah, we got out today. We enjoyed ourselves today. It was a beautiful day on the river. Nice and sunny, good breeze. There was oh, a little bit of... We're already in the crap right here. Oh, boy. Yeah. We've got a good chance of getting snapped off in here, but there are some monsters, absolute monsters that live in here. This is one of Epic's traditional spots. This is actually one of the first spots he's ever took me in. Within just minutes, we had a giant on. Cody Grog's fishing. Put a hippo in the boat. Man, good luck. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Yeah, we're going to try to catch a big one. They're down here in this barge, and it's just about trying to trying to get them out of there. It's a deal. They're here for sure. Uh -oh. Travis Fagan, Honeycutt, Super Smurf Eric, what's up? 
Jason Lamb, Big John, Big John, Last the Koo Guy, Break the Leader Off. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's our first break off. First break off here. Here. That's the first break off there, ain't it? Oh, no, we no. broke a leader off earlier. Right or a uh, snap pull off. Yep. Pulled it out. Yep, that was supposed to be. Yep. How's everybody doing? Anybody ever catching any monsters lately? Watch out. Oh, what? What are you doing? I don't know how it happened. Nope. Right, because I took the bow. Being chunky over here. Or I probably did. On my phone, don't have any service here hardly at all. 41 people in here already. 15 thumbs up. Michael Marilla with the generosity, 9.99 in the super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Woo! Appreciate you, appreciate you. Hell, I think I came out here with seven bucks tonight. <laughs> hey, there, oh, there's our buddy Michael Cashmore. What you doing, Mike brother? Cashmore. Appreciate you coming in What's with up, the $20. Brother? What Michael have to say? Liking the Tuesday Night Live. Good luck and have fun. Yes, sir. Is this Tuesday? Yes, it is. I, I yes, have no idea what funny. day it is. But, uh, yeah, we, we got a nice flathead earlier up in this little nondescript spot, and it was a good time. And we're on a spot where it can happen in any minute. Bob Nesky says, I'm watching from the tree stand with the sound off. Good luck. Nice. Michael Toby, welcome back. Hooks and hammocks. Chris and Telly, what's going on? We're doing a little uh, impromptu uh, midweek uh, live here, going for some flatheads. And I am a little bit handicapped. You can see that. I got nine stitches oh, that's in my nasty, Frankenstein bro. thumb. That's nasty. And it's a little bit hard, but I'll still get it done. Whoa, this is Terry Stanfield. We caught a 50 pound flathead on the Ohio River. The bite was good. We caught 12. Nice, 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 nice. That's what we were hoping for today, but it just seemed a little slow. We've had them bite. We only have bluegills, you know, today, but wish we had some other baits, but. Sean was like, hey, we're going to bring the cast out. I said, this thumb is not going <laughs> to take the, that thumb is not going to take the cast nap very well. No. I, I throw pork chops. Outdoors with Otis. Wait, what? You're live during the week? Yeehaw! Welcome in, Otis. What up, Otis? Howdy, howdy. Do you tie that? I can't. He said, Michael Toby says, it's fall. Good time to go after flathead catfish. Yes, sir. We'll see what we see what we can see. We're on a great spot here on the Mississippi River. The river's ultra low. Ultra low. Yeah, we're at five foot in this pool. And normally, we like to fish this thing at like ten foot, but yep. sometimes that gathers them towards the, you know, the more epic spots. We're on some epic structure, I'll tell you that much. Yep. There has been some beasts in my past caught here. Oh yeah. Appreciate you guys with the super chats, man. That's awesome, Michael Cashmore, Michael Marillo, generosity, man. Appreciate you. Yep, Jody caught a PB blue of 61 pounds Ooh, last night off the Jody. dock. Off the dock. That's beastly, y'all. I need to see a flathead. I've been catching blues. Yeah, Jody. You start catching those blues, you get ruined. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to throw this in the danger zone, too, because I'm going to go past the crack. Oh, boy. Which it's really kind of on again, off again. Yeah. It's going to be a... Uh, Snag or fish type deal, yep. and we lose it. It's a hero or a zero thing. Yep. Yep. Forty-eight people in here. Twenty-two thumbs up. Ponty Judy says Tom caught it. What? Oh, Tom caught. It. I see. I, I can't read. It says, Tom Carter, yeah, Jody caught a PB blue of 61 pounds. Well, congratulations, Tom. I read it wrong. It's actually pretty warm today. I think it's got up to like 95, but the wind was blowing. 
We had rollers on the water here. We about bad. beat the shit out of ourselves. We were planning on doing a lot of boating day, but with the rollers going and the wind, we decided just to keep it low key and we stuffed in some holes around here and fished some wood. We fished everything from dams, current breaks, big br the big bridge. We were at the bridge earlier. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? Wing dice. Welcome in, bud. Closing dice. Oh yeah, we, we fished. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. We got bites everywhere, but they just wouldn't take the baits with the crap. Yeah, we crossed our T's and dotted our I's on these things today. We, you know, as much as we could. When you've got a John boat like this and you're gonna try to navigate the rollers on the river, kinda about beat the shit out of you, but uh, no, it's been okay. We got high hopes of, of snagging into a giant here. If we can get him up out of the up out of this wreckage here. This is a beach, pretty much a beached barge that's snapped in half laying in here and the army corps at one point came in the other half of it and tried to rip it out and they failed at that so they pretty much they kind of made it a mess they made it a mess better, and also fun. what used to be here is out here on this side of the boat it used to be pretty shallow and all of a sudden it would rock it down into 20 foot yeah, yeah. so not only did you have this kind of structure tipped over into that that uh deeper water you had this this current break massive drop off here yep. this used to be live you could come in here and pop many a giant yep. but of course over time the rivers come in and, and flatten this out so it's not quite as good as it used to be but we still have the barge hey kelly speaks out welcome in we still have the overhead cover which in low water fairly clear and high sunlight that becomes important and they're in here somewhere are they willing to come out that's we got, what we're trying to bet on kelly speaks out we got double awesome. we got double kelly's in here we got the bullock experience in here what up kelly kelly yeah this is kind of prime time hey what's up richard richard fishing and freedom fishing freedom what's up tim and sean we got a pretty nice one earlier we'll, we'll throw up a TikTok on it and uh yeah we're fishing this sunken barge, this broken barge here, and uh, we're hoping to get a giant. And I want something over 40. I'm tired of these 40 pounders. <laughs> yeah, we're tired of the 30 pounders. I'm tired of 40 pounders. Let's throw 40 pounders over my shoulder. You know, I ain't worried about that. We want to get that massive giant. This is the Mississippi River here. He showed me pictures of him and his clients come here, and he brings his clients, and he catches 60 pounders with his clients. But, yeah. you know, I guess I'm not paying enough. <laughs> I get the friend, I, I, I get the friend I 45 the pounders. I told the fish, if you're over 50, you don't even have to bite. You know, right, so right, right, right. I've seen a picture of some absolute monsters in here. 65 pounders. Let's see, what's this guy saying? Oh, Michael Toby. Oh, Kaskaskia River is too slow, and you can walk across 9% of it. The fish yeah. have totally shut that's rough, down. That's rough. That's yes, rough. sir. It's, and so is the Mississippi right now. Oh, it's man. It's pretty low. But we you know we, what? we, we like to fish this at, at 10 feet. It's at 5 feet here. Yeah. This barge is sticking way out of the water. I know you guys have seen the um, other lives that we've done, and uh, we're, the water is just barely skimming over this thing. Yep. Uh, let's see, Pamela, are you near Keokuk? No, we're no. way north. We're up, yeah, we're in Rock Island Pool. We thought about going to Keokuk and just going to Dead Man's Hey, Pool, there's G-Style Epic Catfish. What do you think of fishing the end of them? Man-made dam doing winter. Might be good. Might be good. Yeah. I, I've seen a few of them that are, and I've seen a few of them that aren't. It just depends how the current moves in and how everything goes because if it can collect fish and kind of be a stopping point and especially in the winter time if it's more like a wintering area it can be good 51 people 26 thumbs up the super chats fired up let's go i'll be back in a bit kelly says okay Yeah, it's actually still pretty warm. It, it's it's actually kind of kind of sweaty out here still, which is kind of unusual for this time. Oh yeah, definitely. Ted has to caught a forty-five pound flathead on a noose on the Noose River in North Carolina, nice and fish. thought it was nice big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a giant yeah, a fish. Forty-five man. is big. I love a forty-five I mean, pound flathead, man, all day. As an average across the country, if you're catching forties, 
that's a pretty big glider. Hey, what's up, Uncle Lou? Any sows yet? Now, we got earlier, we got about a 25 pounder, 26 pounder. We pulled him out of a little hole in this nondescript area. We threw up in this uh, hole in between these barges. And uh, we got one, and we had another one that I missed. And uh, regrettably, but uh, yeah, we're optimistic. We're out here doing it. Tell you this stuff, I think their state record's over 100. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, 100 pounds what, but. 100 pounds flat I don't know. know. Out of all the times I've caught a state record that would weigh a state record, three of them have been right here. Now, the water level is up, and we weren't surrounded by barges blocking current, no doubt. And it was a little bit different. But I've put the state record at least three times in this very spot. So I feel pretty good about going by here. Yeah. It can happen at any time. Yeah. Oh, 100 pound flathead, wow. I couldn't imagine. That thing had to be like 68 inches long. Yes, sir. Eugene Brooks, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in, bud. 65 sometimes. Oh, yeah, they're 65. Fat, yeah, fatty, if, if they're big females, big 65. Thing. But 68, 69 inches. And if we don't have any success on this side, we'll move to the other side, which is actually the channel side, which, which, which is actually more dangerous to your lines, but sometimes they just don't come over here. So we gotta kind of set this out. And it's a lot darker than it looks like on this this movie. This, this Brandon Hopper says, "Hey, what's up, fellas? Hope uh, you all uh, catch some giants tonight." Yeah, just I know one giant would be fine with me. Yeah. Ted says, "Are you familiar with noodling?" Yeah, I've seen a plenty of videos of people noodling. I'm not about it. I haven't done. I've never done it. Probably pretty fun. I've done it. I wasn't a fan. I'd rather catch one rod reel, but you know what? I, if people like it, they like it. Mmm. G Style says, Epic Catfish, fishing for flatheads in a wood jam. How long do you typically wait on a spot? Especially if you mark bait fish with you a couple know big that ones. Answer. Well, if it's during the day and you're, 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 uh, you're actually just doing an experiment every single anchor. How long, Sean? I don't know, about 15 minutes. Yep. You should, you're absolutely right. You should have a bite in 15 minutes if you get them positioned right. A lot of times we start outside in, you know, you, you, you start risking yourself more. When you pull up on it, you go outside to see if they're moving. If there's moving fish, they're gonna come out and get you. Yep. But in the last cast, he's going in. We might not get Pretty stuff hard. back. I mean, we might not get it back in the yeah. second round either, but. Start out conservative yeah. at the beginning of it when you're going around a beautiful wood pile like that. You don't have to try to. Sometimes the current break holds them too. Yeah. Because a lot of times wood will get stopped where it's a little bit shallower and then it'll drop in and that wood will get held there. And sometimes those fish are away from the wood up near the drop. And many times I've put rods almost straight down and it got whap, whap, you know, 25, 30, yeah. 35, 40, 45, 50. But on those days where they're sedentary is when I really have to go in for them. And sometimes there's nothing you can do. They're there, you know they're there, but they're just, they just won't bite. Yeah. Or they'll, they'll bite your bluegills and spit them. Like we had that happen like 25 times. Yeah, if you're on a nice one where you can really, really anchor up and, and, and you're presenting baits, yeah. Start conservative and then you kind of just work your way in, you know, 15, 20 minutes uh, 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 and recast and yep. go towards it. And then we'll finally plant it in there on the last and one. When, when you're out away from the cover, it didn't happen today. Well, it did, but you'll go near the cover and you give it about two or three cranks. That'll fire them up to actually bite. Uh, but you know, when they're, when they're not active, sometimes they won't take the bait fully in their mouth and you just see the hit. I mean, we saw it 25 times. If that bite was really good today, when the sun was up, we were on fish. We just didn't connect with much. But, I mean, that's the story of Flathead. Sean, Sean's seen it where we go here and you, you catch a Flathead on every single bite. Pretty much every single bite. 12, 15, 12, 15 Flathead in a day, in a day's time. Almost every one of the bites you, you catch. And then there are some days where you catch none of the ones that bite and you still get like 15 bites. 
you're throwing it in their face, it just it, it depends on them. Now this, this we're kind of set up more traditionally, hoping that they'll come to us because we've already been here for 15 minutes. But this is so diverse. It's got it's got 15, 20 foot of water here. It's got nine, 10 foot of water inside the barge. It's got 15 to 20 foot of water on the outside. It's got a whole lot of um, a whole lot of biomass in as, as far as bait fish. It's got carp. It's got buffalo. It's got all kinds of stuff. What I'm seeing mostly is on the other side, so we may have to move. Uh, we set up on this kind of based on what we usually do. Rods in my place down there, and it moves almost like it's snaked up. Yeah. Ted, ever do any surf fishing? Well, not really. We're from way up north here in Illinois, and uh, yeah. I've done some intercoastal waterway fishing, and I've also done some uh, like Florida Canal fishing, which is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, they got peacocks and all kinds of stuff. See all the buffalo and everything moving out there. We can we can give it about Yep. Remove the inside and throw the outside. So go, man. What's going on, what man? Up, so go. Good evening, all. Good luck. Epic. We might need it. Yeah. You never know. Yep. All you can do is go to a great spot like this and uh, put down some lively baits and you see what happens. Brandon Hopper, he lives in Oregon. Jesus. That's one to ask if we did any surf fishing. We're gonna make a move here shortly. We're gonna go right inside of this barge. Girl, what's going on, buddy? Epic and Sean, let's go. That's right, buddy. We're looking for big green monsters. We're in Flathead Country, mid September. It's kind of stony. Story of the day. Bam, bam, right here, right here, and right here. Yeah, you got hit. I wouldn't say it was a giant flathead, but he got hit hard enough that yeah, he's all stoned up. He's done. Most of the fish activity is where we can't throw. It's over the nastiest, yeah, biggest crumpled up piece of this sunken barge you can shake the stick at. Yep. 54 people made it in here. Smash that like button on your way in. Professor and my hero. <laughs> John boys, what's going on? We did get a nice flat hit earlier. I got a little, I got a little bit of that slime on my shirt. Yep, yep, yep. A little about flat head fishing. It's good to get a little slime. Brian B, what's going on, buddy? What's up, Brian B? We're doing a little flat head fishing, bud. Trying to so everybody we get this horrible piece of metal to our right one of the reasons why we're fishing this because they live in it amongst it and under it we just hope they come out because they don't always come out but if they do we are ready in certain we've kind of placed our bait to where if we do get a bite it's fairly likely that we'll get a bite. people got here for an 
impromptu. 54. 54. In about 10 minutes, we're going to switch around to the other side of this, and we're going to go in and try to get them. We're going to go in hard. Yep. Uh, it the might odds not... are we're going to we're going to we're going to land we're going to hook some, but the odds are less on the other side that you'll actually land them because it's way more garbagey in there than it is over here. But sometimes you ain't throwing in, you're not throwing in for them, you're, you're not fishing right. Thanks, now. Trevor. There's Buck Williams. Please hit the thumbs up. Yep. Thanks, Buck. Now, we don't have any donkey lights on any of these rods. We're hoping that this ring light will, will, will light them up. We didn't really have time. We didn't know we were going until the last minute. So, um, got a donkey light on, but I think it's about wrecked. I, I took all the rejects, all, all, all the ones that are not really very good and i tried to send out the good ones because i didn't really know exactly how i should you know do everything but it's kind of hard to replace the batteries and all this stuff uh, dude, really want to throw down hey there's aaron gibbons what's up man what's up aaron he says 50 pounds or bust oh. yeah here in this bar just come might be a bust too <laughs> it might be a bus. It it might might be a bus. There's a bunch of jagged metal in here. You know this spot. This pool's at five feet. We're at uh, optimal at nine, ten. So it's it's oh, late, well, I just threw in. Yeah. late mid September, and uh, we're coming over here. We got a shot. We got baits. We got poles in the water, and we're on a on a notorious oh, spot. Oh, this spot is nothing like it used to be because of the river came through and flooded and took out the drop that used to be here. Still pretty good. It's still decent, but uh, yeah, it used to have a really nice drop right down here, but it's pretty much all flattened out now. That's river fishing over the years. It changes, you know that. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Aaron says, great to see you guys out. Perfect night. Good luck. Yes, sir. Aaron, so all day the, the wind was just whipping up river and we, we, had, we had white caps everywhere so we had to duck out of it on the few places that we could because otherwise it was just blowing us up river. So um, we ended up tucking into a spot that we might go a little bit later tonight because we already wore it out but if you give those spots an hour or two or three rest you might be able to go in there and whack a big one because the conditions are completely right to doing it. Uh, but we we didn't go live before that. All right, everybody. Well, what do we got going on here? Geez, I got some sun today. G style fishing says I'm always surprised on how some flatheads eat small bait and huge bait, like fishing with. Yep, and, you know, and you're right. You're right big baits sometimes you'll fail all day throw a couple small baits and all of a sudden they'll take them same here sean we're at 0.2 foot around 12 is normal whoa that's what fish and freedom said don johnson says sup said, well we're hoping to hook into a big flathead i still can't believe how great these phones are because it's so much brighter on the phone everywhere than it is here it's like almost dark yeah 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 it does look better i'm out all right. Got a nice little sunset going on. And if it's going to happen, it needs to happen in about the next 30 G Style says, I'm always surprised on how some flatheads eat small baits and huge baits, like fishing with hand sized bread. Yep, yep. Yep. Them small ones will eat a giant, they'll be sticking out of their mouth.
Yep. Hey, there's Ryan Inglesby. What's going on, bud? What up, Ryan? He says new phone video quality seems better. Does it look good? That's yeah, awesome. It's my son's. Yeah, phone. yeah. We got a different one, a little bit better, a little bit better phone. I think there does on the screen thing. It does have a little bit of a haze on it, but it does look good. Yep, we're out here trying to snag a, a giant flathead. Pop one in uh, late September. Mid late September. It was a beautiful day and we decided to pop out. FD Fisherman, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for coming in. 64 people in here, 41 thumbs up. Here in a few minutes, we're going to make a move. We're going to go inside this barge. We're actually fishing the outside edge. You can see the, the side of the barge here. This is the outside edge of the barge that's been wrecked here. There's a tie-off post. That's where on the mooring mooring post is where we're anchored off at right there, up above us. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip the script and we're going to come from out here and we're going to go in here. Yeah, we got to fish the outside but it's, edge. It's dangerous in there because yeah. when you go. monster flatheads that sometimes you got to go in after them Amen. Amen. and you know the the heartbreak that uh when you hook into a giant and then it cuts off you might see that or you might see us holding up a big one yep the risk reward you can't catch a flathead sitting on the couch yep. i tried it i mean you can if you got an aquarium right. going in it But it's been a good day. We've been out, got some sun. We fished the big bridge you've seen us at. We fished Davenport at the dam. We had some great action up there. He actually hooked in one of the biggest channel cats I've ever seen in my life. And I swear to God, people, I've never seen a channel cat's tail that big. It was that big, this tail cat's Cute. tail. It was probably 20 plus. But it was wrapped backwards. And he was wrapped and he was like bringing it in backwards. We seen the tail come up and then all of a sudden it got off. Probably like some of them ones that Jonathan catches up there. In Mendota or wherever they go yeah. to get these giants. 20 pounds, 25. 20 plus. 23. I haven't seen a lot of them. I think my PB channel cat's probably 40 pounds. You know what pounds. we need to do? We need to come up here and fish that dam with Moon Eye, and you will see some 20 plus pounds. Oh, I'm up. I'm up for it. Yeah. It's hard for me to go. I'm kind, of a, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to fishing like that. I don't, I'm not, I don't get hyped on the channel cats as much. You're a channel cat snob. I kind of. used to be. I kind of. Well, I, I am a little bit more. They're pretty cool, though. I mean, uh, you get in certain situations. Well, yeah, that was an absent on earlier. And, of course, he gets off. I couldn't believe it. We were both ticked off, but it happens. In the past week, I've been, uh, I've been on a topwater bass fishing mission. And I finally, in the last last week or so, I've had two 20 inches right next to my kayak. And of course, when you hook a bass with a whopper popper, you got two treble hooks. And out of the six sharp points, when you hook a 20 inch largemouth, you're only gonna get one in him. So as he's head flipping side to side, as you're reaching for him carefully, you gotta hesitate because you know you don't want to be that guy a mile back and get one of those buried in your thumb and they just pop off the last one that happened to me i just laughed i can't i'm not even gonna cry anymore <laughs> i'm gonna get back at them though but i think next week we need to go down to donkey waters if we can yeah i think we're gonna head back down to alton here soon i gotta get off this stupid bass fishing addiction crap i got I get the shakes when I'm not out there on the water on the, with my kayak working the mat. But uh, I gotta go, we gotta go catch some bait and uh, get down to the donkey waters down there, to the, uh, the kingdom down there, the magic kingdom. Oh boy, we got some reading to do here. Let's see, there's James Allball. What's up, James buddy? James Allball, what's going on, Good to on, see you buddy? guys, but where's the epic guy? Let me, let, let me do this. Boom, there he yeah, is. Right There's that handsome gentleman right yeah, there. I'm, I'm all looking like, straight ahead. Uh, oh, oh, straight look, ahead. Looking like an old Paul Orndorff over there. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Uh, good to see you guys. Is he MIA? No, he's not. Huh? He says, he, is he MIA? I said, nope. if you see the Johnson right here and you see this, yeah. yeah. 
I'm here. We're here. Fishing Freedom. Richard. He caught a 20 and two feet of water. A heck of a fight. Oh, yes, sir. Geez, Can you imagine a channel cast got to be 60 pounds? Boy, they'd whip your ass. Yeah, yeah. I fish for them, you know, little streams and stuff. Right? The is, 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 is much fun as catching those bees. Because we're flying up this yeah, river. Well, there's sure giant, like yeah, commercial. there's yeah. giant rocks we go up. It's actually a video. If you check out Epic's channel, you see us on the skis and round rocks. We skip the real scary part yeah. and have to go yeah. through. Yeah. There's Dale Hayslip. What's up? What there's up, Ogie Hayslip? 73. What's going Ooh. on, man? Thanks for coming in. Dale Hayslip, how you doing, bud? We are out here, and the mission is a giant flathead. All we want is one. And it's going to be a heck of a battle because we're in some wreckage here. If you can see here, we're bellied up next to a broken up barge that's been sitting here for years. And inside here, inside this direction over here, is the inside of the barge. We are fishing the outside edge. Yeah. We went conservative. We, we start out, you start out working your way outside in. You know, we want to keep some of our rigs, but now that you can have form and get off, get disappointed, but we'll go in. I'll tell you, but even even if you guys weren't here, we'd still do the same thing. We'd still be like, well, it's time to go in after them. Yep. Yeah, we might have to tie up some rigs. It's time to hold your breath, throw the throw the bait. What's, what's funny is we probably got about 400 10 out hooks for blue catfish. But we're kind of low on the on yeah, the flathead are, stuff. Seven flat. Yeah, seven and eight odds. We got some sixes, but not really Six big enough. Really small yeah. For what we hope to catch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we found some really good deals down at Blue City on some big bags. What were those called? I can't remember how oh, they were called. Freaking huge. Yeah, some badass deals on some uh, ten odds down there. Here's some 12 mods. Yeah. That Down at, uh, up at Bluff City Tackle, they had these on sale. Some 12 mods. They on sale. They well, yeah, they just, just, they just got them. them but look at that fat sack full of some nice 12s right there. Yep. Yeah, we definitely need to get back down there and go for some blues. Nice gap on those. Look at them, folks. Giant gap. There's my finger. Look at there. Here, here's some more 12 mods. Yep. These things look awesome. Sharp. Yeah, I, I think you could, you could pretty much, you know, you, you could hook a, you know, a possum with it pretty easy. Yeah, hooker's Terminal Tackle. So if you're ever in uh, the old area, you go to Bluff City Tackle, look up the Hooker's Terminal Tackle. Oh, yeah. Beastly, man. That's, that's good stuff right there. A lot of these big hooks like this, I'm not impressed with the gap in them, but yeah. these here? These are good, yeah. And if anybody is out a fish for giant, giant blue cats, you know that... Uh, that gap might be a little important. Well, see, and these, these gaps can't go, they can't go around yeah, yeah, yeah. the bottom lip or the top lip. They have to hook them in the corner. Because really, if I could find hooks just like this, same wire, about 20 odd, I'd buy those. Because I, I'd want then you'd to go be around doing the bottom. But, but see, the bottom jaw is like that big. Yeah. So you, you'd have to have such a humongous hook to go around the bottom jaw. So it ends up. Uh, get them in the corner of the mouth. The problem is the current and the fight and everything else the, in the corner of the mouth it gets wore out and every fish over 100 pounds the hook just falls out of the mouth. We don't have to wrestle yeah. any of those. Like 50s and 40s and 30s you got to wrestle them all because they get it. They get yeah it deep. punches around it. Yeah it does. But like like these 12s and even the 14s that I've had they, they just they just can't go underneath the jaw somehow. Yep, whether you're fishing for monster bass or monster yep. catfish, yep. it's always a freaking deal when you get those top tier ones. Yep. You know, when I catch a smaller bass up there, they'll have both treble hooks in their mouth with their mouth sealed shut with the hooks in them, and it takes me forever to unhook them. But no, I hook a 20 inch or a nice giant fatty in this place where I'm at, and yep, I get one, one hook just barely past the barb, and there he flips off. But yeah, that's the way it is. A big fish are big fish for a reason. 
They're not easy to catch. Sean, I've literally sat here without a bite till three o'clock in the morning and scored something freaking monstrous. Right. It just. But folks, we're not staying out here until three o'clock in the morning no, tonight. We're not. We're not. <laughs> well, we could. I just have to. Yeah, but then tomorrow would I would get nothing done. You'd be tomorrow. shot. Shot. Fifty-four people in here. Forty-four thumbs up. Nope. Fisherman, is there strong current? No, there is uh, just north of us up upstream here. We are blocked off with one, two, three, four, five, six, six barges wide. This is where they store them up here. There's one that's moored off by the bank. They tie them all off up here. And plus we're at only five feet on our pool right now. An optimal, optimal level for us here is 10. So you know, it's late and the Mississippi River's running low right now and we're just, we're out here giving her a shot. And we're still getting bites that are not red. Yeah. Like this one, it got, it got, it got hammered. Hold yeah. There. And it, it, it's not, they're just not active enough. We should have brought the cast net today and, uh, but Epic's out of commission. I don't know if you guys seen his thumb. You need to come show him your Frankenstein thumb. Yeah. Epic, uh, he's been woodworking for most of his life. And just in a split second, woodworking your whole life, you can run a saw blade under your thumb. It's pretty bad. And uh, he's lucky to have his thumb, really. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's not handling that kind of stuff. And I, I, I throw the cast net, but I throw pork chops. I'm terrible at it. And we just left it at home. It'd be, it, it, I think it'd be a different story, maybe, if we had some moon eye. Pontoon Jody says 3M ain't, ain't bad. What is it? She says 3 a.m. ain't bad. Yeah. But Depends what you gotta do he's he's already skipped work. He's his own boss, and he's already mad at himself for skipping work. But, you know, he's got orders to fill and all that kind of stuff. We're just happy to be out fishing today. It was absolutely gorgeous. I was sipping on some mango drinks and pretending I was in the islands out, out here earlier. I got some sun on my... Uh, my chigger bitten feet. <laughs> Richard says, good thing it wasn't his right thumb. You're damn right, buddy. Yeah, that's true. You're damn right. He's lucky he has it. Yep. And you can imagine what a cut is on like that is a, a table saw is a, that's an eighth inch wide, man. You really sometimes don't, you don't get it back. He may not be reeling that bait caster reel too much longer tonight. Yeah, too much night. Yeah. He's a savage, though. I got it back, Sean, but it bounced off some crap. How to Jody says, Tim, Tim, Tim. I fished my first barge on Saturday. Did she? Oh, Was she lost her bargeinity. Did you get anything <laughs> off it? <laughs> did you did you get anything? There's Big Skip. What's up? What's up, buddy? Yep. There's Palmetto Cats, Kevin. What's going on, buddy? Kevin. No, that was Palmetto Cats. I I, I can't okay. see because I'm squinting over here with Grandpa eyes. That was Palmetto Cats. Kevin says, Tim, Tim, Tim. I fished my first barge on Saturday. Nice. He lost his bargeinity. Oh, did you do any? Did you eat good, Kevin? <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. I don't have my readers on. You want some readers? No, I'm good. They make me dizzy and gets into my vertigo. Okay, Sean, I'll hold on to this if you'll get the uh, anchor. Yep. Damn, I gotta move and do something? Else? Yeah, we don't even have to pull up much. We just, no, I, I mean, you. just, there's no back one. It's just you, front, and I'll hold that. I got you, bro. Yeah. Well, I don't want my vertigo to get after me. You know, we, we wouldn't even like fishing unless it's dangerous. This is child's play. This is right now. But it's still more dangerous than just like... Well, yeah, you can... Throwing out in the middle of nowhere. You can drown in your bathtub. Yep. Alright. I'm going to start it.
you both have green icons. See, that's how good I can see. <laughs> he said there were actually 12 barges tied up together, anchored in the river. Awesome. Well, right. you got to see these. I get my light out. We are surrounded by them right now. Probably gonna come into the picture in a second. But we have we've been we were surrounded, completely surrounded by them to the north of us, upstream. And now we're going to the inside of this barge where it's very snaggy, cutoffs happen, but also yeah, but every once in a while also you get, some you get big fish live in there. If, if you can if you can manhandle them and get them up out of there, it's totally Show worth it. The barge. Thank you. But at the same time, if you want to see a grown man cry, you might see that in a little bit yeah, too. We might cry. You get a little butt hurt when you're wrestling a big fish and you get cut off, but sometimes you got to go in after them. Oh, hold on. I got a pull sticking off. Hold on. We're good. I know. I got it. Sure? Yeah, I got it. All right, all right. I'll get up in there. I'll go around me over here. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Should have been high enough, but. You want me to grab that one over there? Yeah, probably should. Mmm, that two stroke smoke is good stuff. Good. Grab that one over there. I wish it made a cigarette. Two stroke flavored. <laughs> two stroke flavored cigarette. Yeah. I think I'm okay. Especially in the dead of winter when you don't get a big puff of two stroke every once in a while. Let's see, Palmetto says caught seven blue, 15 to 20 pounds within an hour. Good activity, nice. man. Good stuff. No, you can't, Jody, because if I really get back far, Beautiful. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. We don't have shit for current, do we? No. This is dead. We weird. don't. These yeah, barges are yeah, completely but, shutting us off. On the south side, on the outside, we've got all kinds of fish activity. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna grab this real quick. All right, we're getting strapped in, folks. Let me turn the light up, get some light on the subject. That's pretty bright. Oh, shit. That was the top notch right there, bud. Let me see if I can change the color of the light. So we already did a boat rescue today? Yeah, we did a boat rescue today. As soon as we pulled over the and got to the by the boat ramp, we were looking out in the river, and we saw this guy out there. And he was sitting on the front of the boat and it looked like they were paddling or bailing out. And we're like, well, that's going to be our, our first mission. And sure enough, they were broke down in the choppy water out in the middle of the Mississippi River, almost out in the barge lane. They were in the barge lane. So they said something about needing a hero, and yep. we went out and got them. Something epic. Whatever. Yeah, they needed an epic hero to come get them. And well, we've done her before. Hell, we've been in their spot before. We've all we've all had it. Yeah, they tried to give you shit. Yeah, they tried to give us money for it. Sixty-four people in here. Fifty thumbs up. All right, I think I'm gonna put these away. We're about ready to start baiting up, and we're gonna go in here and see if we can get them all. There we go. Didn't like the move we made. We did like a little move. That one's dangling there. That one's ready. Let's see what else we got. This one is a work crap. It looks pretty stoked. It's pretty stony. We've got uh, We moved four feet over. 
Here, let me move this thing six inches. There. We still here, everybody? It says we're having connection issues. It's dropped down to 31 people. Now it says 28. Unable to connect at this moment, it says. Who knows how long that's going to last. Alright, we got rod lights, we got them on the back. Okay. This thing would just stay connected, we'll be all good to go. It says 36 people here. Bugs were just on fire. Oh, the bugs are on fire. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this in the main channel. But it's... There we go. Looks like we're still connected somehow. Yeah. You didn't like our move, but no. Yeah, we're gonna get there's no job in my mind. No. Maybe it takes ten minutes, maybe it takes thirty minutes. You all see pretty good? I can I'm looking at light now. Or not. Turn it down. There we go. There we go. Michael Marula says, let's go. Let's, let's go. do this. All right, we got baits out. We're in the danger zone. We have baits in where the giants live. Yep. But it's a hell of a deal to try to get them out of there. But we're going to do it for the viewers, for you people. Now nah, we do it anyways, but. Hopefully we get a nice violent takedown, pressure him up, and we can get him up out of there yep. without slicing your line off on a piece of metal. Last time we were here, giant got cut off on the metal. Last time on Epic Catfish, yep. we were fishing a sunken barge and got broke off on a giant flathead. And it was disgusting. Sean teared up and Tim and broke drank his himself to sleep. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We're glad to be out. We haven't been live in a while. We haven't been out fishing, and uh, we decided to fly over here on a Tuesday and get her done. It's only about an hour and a half over here, and for us to go to Alton's almost four hours. And we don't, uh, we don't have to buy a hotel room. We don't mm -hmm. have to stay two days and all that stuff. I can go get work done tomorrow. Yep. So yeah. All right, everybody, concentrate all your Jedi energy on these rods. We want yep. a massive takedown on a big green monster. Let's do this. I'm gonna go over here and wait for the takedown. It's gonna happen. A big crusher. So unfortunately, where most of the big fish live, I can't throw rods. We'll throw rods if we're like super desperate, but right behind the boat, 
you see on Sean's left side, there's a giant snarl of metal that's down there. And they live there, but we just hope they come out. And so sometimes you have to have a little bit of strategy. And you got to say, okay, let's get that. Uh-oh, Marillo said something about green carp. Oh, boy. It's okay for you to admit you've been catching green carp. We love you all the same. Well, that's pretty good. Cook Robinson's hell yeah, big fish time. It is. It is. SF Outdoors, we're kind of pumped that we're live too. Mr. Kitty Whiskers, big fish energy. Let's go. Pontoon. Whoa. I hit some sort of goofy stuff. 50 ready to fish with you guys sometimes. Big skip. You know what? One of these days, uh, we will have to fish together. My big dream is to fish with a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube or TikTok or whatever. But, you know, making that happen is a little bit different. Uh, let's see, up in the Air Run Outdoors. Hey boys, hey, what's, what's going on Air Run? Buck Williams, Catfish Epics Bait are the ones you're looking for. That's right, Catfish Epics Bait and Sean are the baits you're looking for. Now, yes. the, 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 Jedi the, Mind Tricks Man. Yep, and as we all know, when the, when the Ho and Palmetto Cats with the $2 bling bling bring on the monsters. Let's do it, I, I think the timing's right, but I don't have a, oh, a giant amount of confidence in the current. Now I would if these 25 barges weren't blocking current on the outside. Now, there's still fish here, there's no doubt. But you know, to, to, to get them to come and, and uh, corral your baits, it's a little bit different when you, uh, when you effectively place baits in areas that they're going to move to from. This, we're trying to go to them and we're trying to keep it out of the metal jungle. And I, I kind of wish you guys could see what we see. Because now, as of, uh, which is a little bit different as before, uh, we, you guys could see better than us with our regular eyes. Now we can see better than you because I'm looking at this and all you basically see is the motor and Sean. Maybe I can turn this up without the bugs getting too bad. I know, but we're, we're, we're not scared of bugs. No, we're not. That's a little bit better. But Hi. generally speaking, we're, we're basically anchored inside a sunken barge that has no top. So it's like this gigantic metal bathtub. So over here, about five, six feet uh, is the, and it's all sitting at an angle like this. So out here is the main channel. Up here is the, this outside edge. And it's broken in half almost exactly where the back of the motor is and it sinks down into 20 foot of water it's yeah. almost nine feet deep inside inside the barge yeah so so basically like a, a high spot and during high water it gets close to the bank the water down, and it's all straight like this water goes down and all of a sudden it's high centered and then breaks like the titanic and that's what happens it's, it's actually kind of rare. I mean, up and down the Mississippi River, there probably, there might be a hundred barges, but there's only so many that are in the, in the big catfish territories. A lot of them are on like, like really slow backwater areas. I mean, I, I know that from talking to people in the James. I know that from talking to people, you know, all the way down to Louisiana. However, I, I, have, I do have a friend that has a full, paddle boat like the big paddle boats in uh, Florida that sunk in like a 90 foot hole and he's still trying to figure out how to land giant catfish out of it and, and I hope of all the best I, I wish I was down there Bob? yeah Bob Trent uh oh what do we have yeah okay waiting on that take down take down You're gonna have to. I'm going. Cause it's gonna go down like nobody's business. Got, it's gonna go down like go donkey, 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 town so go down. donkey Town so go down. Donkey Town go down. Bring it yeah. energy right now. I might even pull a muscle. That's right. We got our second go. cat river. Energy. Yeah. Little, little, little twenty pounder. Neck. Okay. So, as I was saying, sometimes you don't have, there's only a few things left. And one of the things is 
normally we have a pretty good signal here, but I think this barge over here is kind of blocking it. Because normally we don't have any problem with, with connection. Uh, but right now we are. Uh, let me get the glasses on here. I'm sorry, folks. We happen to be surrounded by giant barges that are probably nixing our signal. So you know that the last spot we were at, we wouldn't get it at all. No. no. Even though we, we, we were actually thinking about going live there. Constantly having to reconnect. Now we're down to 36. 36 people, wonderful people in the chat. We're down to 35 because we can't keep a connected signal and this isn't my old junky phone this is actually my All right. down to six. six people are like yeah i'm not watching that Three. <laughs> five people that are still in here thanks thanks because yeah it's it's pretty uh signals pretty crappy yeah it is yeah <laughs> we're not Jordan or whatnot but anyways we're gonna uh we're gonna just call the 24 people that stuck in here thanks for all the super chats you guys are awesome so, we will see you again, and hopefully, we're going to go down in monster waters, but we intend on still landing a monster. Good night, everybody.